Hi, I'm Miss Mary and welcome to Toddler Time. Today Minnie is going to help us with our story time. Hi Minnie. Hi Miss Mary. Minnie, did you have a good summer? I had a great summer. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. What did you do this summer? I went to the lake and I went swimming lots of times. Oh boy, was the water warm or cold? Well, it was kind of cold. <laughs> did you go fishing at the lake, Minnie? Nope, my brothers went fishing though. I don't like worms. Oh, that's okay. What else did you do this summer, Minnie? I went to the park. What's your favorite thing to do at the park? I like to go ooh, down the slide. That's fun. I think I like to go in the merry-go-round when I go to the park. Well, I guess I better go now. Okay, well thank you for coming, Minnie. Bye, Minnie. Bye, Miss Mary. Bye, girls and boys. Today, Minnie helped us with our literary tip. And the tip is to ask your child lots of questions and then discuss the answers together. And this helps increase your child's vocabulary. Another thing that helps with vocabulary is to do nursery rhymes. And this is our nursery rhyme for the day. It's called Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Let's try that. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. In the rhyme, it said they could not put Humpty together, but we have a craft that maybe your family can help you do, and that way you will be able to put Humpty Dumpty together again. Someone needs to cut out an oval shape for you. An oval is like the shape of an egg. Then, that needs to be cut apart like jaws from a shark. And then, what you do is glue the picture onto a piece of construction paper, take some band-aids to fasten Humpty together, and if you have crayons or markers, you can draw a smile on there. And I have eye stickers, but if you don't have stickers, that's okay. You can just use crayons or markers or whatever you have to finish making Humpty Dumpty's face. In the rhyme, Humpty Dumpty, it talked about a king. And here's our king. Now today's story will have a king in it. So listen very carefully and look for the part where you see a king. Today's story is called Chicken Little. Once upon a time, Chicken Little was taking a walk in the woods. Bonk! An acorn fell out of the tree and hit Chicken Little on the head. Oh no, Chicken Little yelled. The sky is falling. I have to tell the king. Chicken Little was running so fast that she ran into Henny Penny. Watch where you are going, Henny Penny cried. The sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. Come with me to tell the king. They hurried off to tell the king. Soon they met Ducky Lucky. Where are you two going? asked Ducky Lucky. The sky is falling, 
cried Chicken Little. Come with us to tell the king. They hurried off to tell the king. Next they met Goosey Lucy. Where are all of you going in such a rush? asked Goosey Lucy. The sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. Come with us to tell the king. They hurried off to tell the king. Gobble, 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 gobble. They found Turkey Lurkey. Why is everybody running? asked Turkey Lurkey. The sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. Come with us to tell the king. They hurried off to tell the king. They traveled along until they met Sneaky Foxy Loxy. They yelled, the sky is falling. We are going to tell the king. This is not the way to the king, said Foxy Loxy. Follow me, said the tricky fox. Chicken Little, Penny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Turkey Lurkey follow the fox deep into the woods and into his cave. The king never did find out that the sky was falling. The lesson of this story is to think for yourself and not follow the crowd. I hope you enjoyed this story. I had fun putting it together. We have some other things at the library that you would enjoy too. We have take and create bags for all ages and they change each month. Do you remember our closing rhyme? Bye.